I always bring a whole suitcase to the wedding, but I don't bring the whole suitcase to the getting ready place. You have to imagine the getting ready like this. A lot of extremely nervous people packed in a small room with time pressure to get ready and not being used to be filmed. And then me coming with a whole big suitcase of camera gear? Nope, that's not how it works. I come with my Sony A6500 with Sony 18200 5 f4 attached hanging down my shoulder, my gimbal with Sony A6300 and Samyang 12mm attached to my waist strap and the Sigma 30mm f2 in the pouch. That's it. I am super mobile, don't need much space and easily blend into all the chaos going on. Bright and Groom are usually at two different locations. I always first visit the Bright because there is more going on. There is no point in filming the first steps of the makeup. The bride still looks kind of messed up at that point, so I wouldn't use those scenes anyway. So I start with having some small talk with the people around me, learn who is responsible for what and especially important, get to know the photographer. Then I take some shots of the makeup stuff, decoration around me and the dress. Then when the bride gets the last touch ups, I start to film her. So don't have the camera in the bride's face all the time. It makes no sense, would just annoy her and make her even more nervous. At one point I have to go to the groom's place. Things are usually a lot more relaxed over there. I just need a few shots of that. They are almost always staged because here is time for that. The biggest challenge of filming the getting ready for me is to get beautiful shots without disturbing the people too much and it so far always worked out well. I let the hairdresser do her job. Sometimes but not often I ask her to do a few moves for me. When I have to move the dress to get a nice shot, I always ask first whether it is okay for it to be moved and whether I can move it or someone else does it, because there is nothing more holy on a wedding day than the dress. The shots you see here were all staged. This kind of nice shots of the bride you otherwise barely get. But often enough there is no time for staged shots, so I have to work with what I have. In the next episode I will show how I filmed the first look and couple shots, because working together with the photographer at the same time can be a challenge as well.